In November 2023, attackers launched the Nitrogen campaign through a malicious advanced IP scanner download, promoted via Google Ads. The downloaded zip file contained a legitimate Python executable and two hidden Python DLLs. Executing setup.exe initiated a DLL sideloading attack, launching the Nitrogen code. A legitimate advanced IP scanner copy was placed in the public downloads folder. The attack involved defense evasion techniques like removing Windows API function hooks and bypassing AMSI, WLDP, and ETW. Nitrogen deployed a sliver beacon in the app data notepad folder executed via a Python script. Persistence was achieved through scheduled tasks and registry key modifications. Within two hours, attackers used Cobalt Strike to dump credentials from LSAS, gaining a shared local administrator account. Lateral movement was carried out using Impacket's WMI exec, exploiting WMI for remote command execution. Pass the hash activity suggested attempts to escalate privileges to domain administrator. Sliver and Cobalt Strike were used for extensive network reconnaissance. Data exfiltration was carried out using Restic, targeting a file server and transferring data to a remote server in Bulgaria. On day 8, attackers deployed Black Cat ransomware. Using PS exec, they remotely executed batch scripts on targeted servers, including domain controllers. The scripts modified the default boot configuration, changed a privileged service account's password, and set the ransomware binary to execute on startup. The ransomware was distributed using SMB and executed, leading to widespread file encryption. Indicators of compromise included specific IP addresses for Sliver C2, Cobalt Strike C2, and the exfiltration server. MITRE ATT and CK techniques used range from drive-by compromise and DLL sideloading to pass the hash and data encryption for impact, credit DFR reports.